Hey guys, so in this video we're going to take a quick look at After Effects. Um, it might seem very similar to uh, Premiere or to Final Cut, but After Effects is kind of a world on its own and it exists for mostly special effects, right? Um, so for editing movies you could theoretically do it, but the, the workflow is that you would usually edit your movie or edit sequences of your movie um, in Premiere and then bring it into After Effects and add special effects, add rain, add... Um, drastic color changes, um, add maybe like explosions or um, uh, crazy title effects. Um, so that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to uh, take the film that we exported from our previous video. We're going to see how we can navigate the After Effects interface, how we can add animations, how we can add effects, and how we export it. Um, this is going to be quite short because After Effects is really can do a lot, um, but this is just to give you an idea of how do you uh, animate um, things and where can you find new effects to affect your footage. So let's do it. So I've opened After, After Effects, I'm going to create a new project, and here I am in the interface. It looks very similar to uh, Premiere with slight differences. So this is, instead of having sequences in Premiere, here we have composition. So After Effects works with compositions. Um, on the right hand side is where we have all of our effects. On the left hand side is where we're going to have more information about each of the media element that we have selected or imported and then um, below is going to be our timeline for composition uh, as, well, as well as our timeline for animation. Uh, oh, new composition from footage, yep, and bam, cool, okay. So now I have a composition and I have our footage. Easy, same thing. What I want to do is that I want to add um, some sort of animation with this logo. So I'm going to add the yay here, and as I go through, it's kind of the same uh, principle as Photoshop, where we do have two layers, um, and I can toggle, toggle them on or off on the left-hand side here. Um, let's say I just want to add the yay after one particular trick. Let's say like after this trick. So I would start here. This is when it's being done. Yep. Tac, 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 tac. Yes. So I'm going to pull the yeah um, layer all the way to here. And when it ends, here. So this is where I'm going to work with my. Um, with the PNG layer. And then I'm going to click on the little arrow here, um, and I can see all the uh, elements that I can affect over time for that particular layer. And so transform basically is a term that um, manages all the spatial properties of a layer, so the position, the scale, and the rotation. And so let's say we wanted to like zoom in and then turn at the same time. So we're going to start with um, uh, a scale and a rotation. And you see, as I click on those little stopwatches, um, then I see the, um, uh, the keyframes that are added immediately. So rotation is just going to be 0, or scale is going to be 0, so it doesn't appear. And then at the end, I want it to be, here I want it to be 100, or maybe like, let's make it 120. And then it stabilizes at 100. Cool. So now if we play it, cool. And now for our rotation. So we start here, and we basically want to get to the same point um, as the previous, at the as the 120% scale keyframe. And that's where we're going to stop our rotation. So an easy way to do this is when you want to match the same keyframe, you go on the left, and those little arrows allow you to move keyframes previously and um, formally and next. Um, so I want to stop on the second one, and here, and then I click below. I add a keyframe for rotation, and I'm going to say I want to add 
1080 degrees. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, play it. Okay, so the footage is not so good, but you get the idea. Um, it stops there. Um, maybe we can move the keyframes a little bit. Or, so you can also drag manually the keyframes and then see. Okay. Um, that'll be enough for now. You get the idea of adding keyframes, modifying position, scale, rotation in order to um, uh, animate uh, any sort of uh, graphics that you might have on top of your on top of your footage. That's one big part of After Effects. The other big part of After Effects is adding um, well effects. Uh, I'm just going to show you how it works, and you can then um, look into further what are some of the the effects that you're more interested in. So let's say we want to have um, some warping. Um, uh, sphere, sphere eyes. Is sphere eyes going to be a fish eye? That'd be nice. So let's say, okay, let's say we're on this footage. And at this point, we want to have an effect. So we're going to drag and drop sphere eyes onto the layer that we want to affect. I drop it, and then I can change the radius. Okay, that looks a little bit like fisheye-ish. Yeah. Cool. So now all of our footage has the same fisheye effect. And it becomes more consistent. Again, you can also animate those if you click below. Um, click on effects, sphere eyes. And then you can affect the radius, you can affect the center of the sphere, and so on and so forth. So any effect that you add on the left column, by dragging those on the right column, um, you will be able to animate over time um, in the timeline. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it around the uh, effects. Click Save. And now I'm going to export it. So I click on my um, composition at the, at the bottom, and File export um, and then export it to be Premiere Pro project oops file export add to render queue um, and so you can't just um, you can't just set a render with um with a pop-up window you have to add a render queue because usually people would have um, multiple they don't want to like work and then render and then work and then render you want to work 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 and then when everything is rendered you just render it and you go have a coffee or dinner or something. Um, so I'm going to go to render settings. What does it look like? Uh, best full output. It looks like it's using the same settings as the input, which is fine. Uh, we want to um, export it as an we want an MOV. Yeah, let's do it MOV. Um, inside the same folder. Save. And once I've decided where I want to output it, I can click on render. And you see the loading bar, it renders, it renders, it renders. Oops, <laughs> I forgot to remove the fisheye for the credits. And it's rendered. Great. So if we go back, now we have our MOV. Yay. Cool. It works perfectly. 
So you get an idea of how do you export your composition by adding it to the rendered queue, how do we add effects by taking those on the right hand side and then um, dragging them onto the layer that we want to affect. Uh, you can also find off other effects online. How do you add animations by modifying things over time with keyframes, kind of like what we did in um, Premiere, and overall the, inter the interface of uh, After Effects, which looks also very similar to Premiere. But again, to uh, reiterate, Premiere is used to edit and put together a um, uh, bunch of movies because you see that the playback is a lot faster on Premiere when you want to scrub through your video file um, rather than After Effects. And then when you want to add your special effects, this is when you export from Premiere into After Effects um, and work on those animations. And that's it for the intro to After Effects. Mm -hmm.